Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, honored guests, uh, I'd like to introduce a friend and a pastor of Calvary Baptist Church from Longview. He's going to lead us in our prayer today and uh, that we can trust in the Lord. Psalm 146 tells God's people not to trust in princes, but to trust in Him, and He is our hope. Pastor Jones has labored there for almost 25 years. His wife, Barbara, is with him today, and also a friend, a Pastor Larry Sullivan from Cedar Park. Pastor Jones, would you come? Let's pray. I found this prayer by George Washington when he was the first president of our country. And I began to read this, and I said, you know, I can pray this for Texas. Let's pray. Almighty God, we make our earnest prayer that Thou will keep the United States in Thy holy protection, that Thou will incline the hearts of the citizens to cultivate a spirit of subordination and obedience to government and entertain a brotherly affection and love for one another, for their fellow citizens of the United States at large. And finally, that Thou will most graciously be pleased to dispose us to do justice, to love mercy, and to demean ourselves with that charity, humility, and pacific temper of mind, which were the characteristics of the divine author of our blessed religion. Without a humble imitation of whose example in these things, we can never hope to be a happy nation. Grant our supplication, we beseech Thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And God, this afternoon, I pray that the prayer of this great state of Texas, that what George Washington prayed would also apply to Texas. May the men and women that serve Texas have the spiritual discernment to seek your guidance and leadership as they make decisions that will impact the citizens of Texas, our country, and even the world. Your word teaches us that righteousness exalts a nation, and blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. May Texas be a shining light in this dark world. Bless these political leaders as they follow, serve, and honor you. And I pray this in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.